Hi, my name's Jack. I've been an account planner this semester in advertising campaigns. I've had an incredibly enjoyable experience in the last 12 weeks working with a really diverse group of people. I've also encountered some conflict, which you'd expect in any group with people with diverse opinions and perspectives. So I guess what the focus of this video is going to be is about the conflict that occurred in particular in my group between our creatives and the planners, including myself. I'm going to explain that using what's called the Relational Dialectical Theory, or RDT. So, I mean, this semester amidst all the fantastic teamwork, collaboration and communication between my team's departments, myself and the other planner reached a conflict with our creatives. The conflict arose from what the planners perceived as the creatives continually going off brief and what the creatives perceived as the planners overmanaging them and us stifling their creative liberty. So doing some reading, I found that this conflict, which is incredibly common in an agency space, arises from the two departments opposing viewpoints, which is indicative of what I already described as the RDT, a theory proposed by Baxter and Montgomery. So the RDT is a theoretical framework explaining the cause of interpersonal conflict in terms of core tensions in relationships. So this includes things like closeness and openness, equality and inequality, and autonomy and connectedness, among many other traits. So I'm going to use two journal articles which talk about how RDT explains the inherent planet creative conflict in agencies. So the first article by Vandenberg explains that the inherent conflict between planners and creatives exists because planners have a generalist knowledge of an agency, whereas creatives have a specialist knowledge. So basically what that means is that planners have a little bit of information about many different roles within an agency, whereas creatives have a very in-depth knowledge of their specific craft. Vandenberg explains that the conflict is created because there's just a lack of understanding between each of the roles. Research suggests that creatives think planners don't understand their job, don't know when to leave creators alone, and don't share client information with them. In agreement with Vandenberg, Hackley and Kovas suggest that creatives dislike the structure laid out by planners and prefer to work alone. On the other hand, planners believe creatives can't take constructive criticism, have quite large egos, and have a lot of difficulty sticking to a brief. So critically analysing this article, our team experience was a direct reflection of the points Vandenberg makes. The creators in our team felt that myself and the other planner were overly involved in their role and too officious. On the other hand, the planning team, including myself, felt that the creators rarely communicated with us and struggled to stick to our strategy. So the second article I'd like to look at using the RDT is by Hugh Jung, Jin Nam and Sun Young, which proposes that the conflict between planners and creators also stems from the fact that planners are extrinsically motivated, that is by factors like money and awards, whereas creatives are intrinsically motivated, that is to say by their own um, aspirations and the creative process. Research by Hackley points out that the planning role is structured around understanding consumers and doing research, both extrinsic motivators, while creators are driven by their own creative process, an intrinsic motivator. So therein lies the second key reason for conflict. In assessing the literature, I believe this article resonates with my own team situation. Myself and the other planner were focused on getting good grades and impressing the client, donate life while the creatives were focused on doing their very best to come up with an idea to impress themselves. My own personal view, that is, that the conflict is bound to arise naturally between creatives and planners just because of the certain inherent traits of each of their roles, aligns with the findings of these two articles. So, reflecting on these findings, I find it invaluable to introspect on the workings of our team this semester. It gave me a greater understanding of how conflicts arise in an agency situation, and I think I selected an appropriate framework and journal articles to justify my own view. If I were a CEO, I'd give me the job in planning and research. And I'm hoping my reflection has convinced you too as well.